Hi everyone, this is Patrick and welcome to my channel. Now, today, let's talk about Apple Mail, especially on iOS. I bet most of you use or have used Apple Mail in the past. And while I think you agree that it is a solid app, most of you wouldn't put it in the category of a well-connected app, right? But that might change today. <laughs> In this video, I will show you how Apple Mail can work together with a lot of other apps, especially, but not exclusively, the ones Apple has built in, like reminders, notes, files, but also other apps like Things 3, for instance, where the ability to link a specific email to a task or a document would be great for any productive workflow. And while some apps like Things 3 have created some great workarounds, like emailing to a specific address, there are even better ways to connect Apple Mail to Things 3 and other apps on iOS. The problem is that Apple somehow didn't make it obvious, especially the ability of Apple Mail to share its content with other apps while including backlinks to the mail itself is a little known secret. Wait a second, you say, Apple Mail can integrate it all with other apps? But there is no share menu in Apple Mail, huh? You're right, Apple made it hidden. Apple made it so that you need to know how to do this. Don't ask me why they made it so hard. And the share menu would be a welcome change, dear Apple. But here we are. Let me show you three ways you can share information from Apple Mail with lots of other apps. But before I do that, let me give you some ideas why you might want to do this in the first place. Scenario one. I would sometimes like to file emails in my file system as EML files. Is that possible? Yes, it is, even on iOS. Scenario two, I would like to create reminders, which then have a backlink to the email, so I can remind myself to do something on that email. And once I've done that, I can with just one tap, open the email for further details on the connected task, or get back to the sender for clarification, or telling him that I'm done with the task. Wouldn't that be fantastic, right? Is that possible on iOS? Yes, it is. Scenario three, I would like to reference sometimes email in my note system, in my project notes or whatever, including links back to the mail. Is that possible on iOS? Yes, it is. Now there are three ways you can do this. Option one, you can use Siri. Option two, you can use a share menu. Wait a second, you said just a few seconds ago that there is no share menu in mail. Oh yes, there is one but it's hidden. It's not on the mail level. You need to select text either from the subject or from text within the mail. And there you get a share menu as a pop-up. Now, what will be shared depends on the receiving app. For most apps, that share option will only include the selected text and no backlink. But with Apple Reminders, you also get a backlink to the email. Now to option three, the most powerful one. You can use Finger magic. Yes, like Doctor Strange. No, seriously. You can use gestures, even on an iPhone, to drag and drop multiple emails to other apps. Modern iPhones have multi-touch capacity, like the iPad had for quite some time. You can use multi-touch gestures on both platforms to select a single or multiple mails, if you want, and then bring them to either a note to a reminder, or into the file system, or even to a third-party app. This is a way I haven't seen before in any YouTube channel, by the way, so it might be the first time that you also hear about this option. Now, let me demonstrate these three techniques for you. Option one, use Siri. You can use this to create a reminder with a backlink. With mail, go into the specific email and invoke Siri, either by saying, hey, Siri, or by pressing and holding the power button for a few seconds until the Siri globe appears. The main command is, remind me of this email. This will add a reminder for this mail to Apple Reminders app, which will include a link, the little mail icon to the right. Tapping on this icon will bring you back to the mail. This even works if you move the mail to another folder. You can even add a date and time to the reminder with a command, 
Remind me of this email tomorrow at 8 p.m. as an example. Or you can even put the reminder in a specific list. An example, remind me of this email in my video ideas list. Assuming you have a folder called video ideas. As far as I know, Reminders is the only app that works with Siri from an email. But since Reminders is one of the most used apps in combination with Apple Mail, this is a great way to quickly add reminders which reference an email. The typical workflow for me to get to inbox zero fast is to touch each mail once and when there is an action included, which I can't do now, I use either Siri or the other two options to create a reminder like remind me of this email in an hour and then I file or delete the mail. By the way, the reference works even if you delete the mail as long as you don't empty your trash folder. Option two, using the share menu. Sometimes I want to create a reminder without using Siri. Maybe I'm in a restaurant or I don't want to disturb my partner. That's where this option comes in handy. So within mail, open up an email and then select whatever text you want to use in the app you want to reference this mail within. So let's use Apple reminders again. I would select either the subject or parts of it, or maybe a passage from the body which includes the specific tasks I have to do. Once the text is selected, you can use share from the pop-up menu. Now you can select to which app you want to send it. Let's pick reminders. Here you can see that it uses the selected text as the title for the reminder, but I'm free to change that here. I also can add some more notes here. And as you can see by the little mail icon to the right, there will be a link to the mail within the reminder. And under details, you can add a date or a time, add some tags, or define on which list you want to put this reminder. With add in the top right corner, you add the reminder. Let's check that in the reminders app. Yes, it worked, cool. Now I can use the same trick to send some text to an existing note or to a new note, for instance, in Apple Notes. However, this will not create a link. And also with Things3 or any other external app, you only copy the text, but not the backlink with this option. So it only works with Apple Reminders to my knowledge. Still, since Apple Reminders is one of the most used apps to connect mails to, this is an often used option for me, especially when the Siri option is not possible to create reminders from an email. But now let's go to the most versatile option. Option three, finger magic. This is something I stumbled across by accident. I wasn't aware of it and I haven't seen anyone so far on YouTube mention it. But multi-touch gestures on an iPhone, and of course on an iPad, open up the real power of connecting Apple Mail with other apps. Let me first show you how it is done, because it looks at first like a bit of finger yoga or magic, like you would see in a Marvel movie from Doctor Strange. In the mail list, you tap and hold with one finger on the email until you get the preview. This, by the way, is also not known to a lot of folks, and it is a great way to quickly check mail or do some other quick actions like reply, forward, or move the mail. But still, no share option here, sorry. So, what you need to do, without lifting the finger from the screen, move the finger a little bit, maybe even do a little swirl, until the preview collapses into what I would call a ghost cell. Like as if the cell of the mail list is now glued to your finger. Now, with any other finger, either from your other hand or I often use the thumb, go to your either home screen, either by pressing the home button or by swiping up, or go directly to another app using the app switch gesture, swiping from left to right near the bottom. If you go to the home screen, keep your finger, which has the ghost mail cell glued to it, always on the screen and switch with the other fingers to the app where you would like to use this glued mail. In that app, you can even switch to folders or create a new task or note or whatever. I will now go to the reminder app again. And as you can see, I can now insert this glued mail to any list I have. You see that little green plus symbol? Now that shows that I will add a new reminder here. Now release the finger that the mail is glued to and as you can see the reminder will be created and also includes the backlink to the mail. So far the same result as with the Siri or share option. 
But now let's do the same finger trick with Apple Notes. For this, I go back to my email list and now I will not only select one email, but multiple emails. I select the first one as explained. And after I have the first mail glued to my index finger, I can then add more mails to it by just tapping on them with any other finger. And you'll see the number of mails I have selected as a number in a blue circle on the top right of the selection. Then I will switch over, again not releasing the finger from the screen, and switch using any other finger to Apple Notes. There I will create a new note using my thumb and in the text field I will release my index finger. And boom, you see, with this option you will not only create the text from the mail subjects, but each one will link to the mail itself by pressing on that link. Now the same trick, for instance, will create EML files if you drag one or multiple emails from the email list to the files app. This is, for instance, great if you need to add these mails to a specific project folder. One little problem here is that Apple does not allow you to preview or open these EML files. Well, the Mac can do this, but of course, there is a free app for that. You get yourself the app called EML Viewer, and once you've installed it, you can open the EML file via the share menu. From within this app, you can not only view the EML file, but also print or even reply or forward. And the last example for this drag and drop is using it with Apple Mail itself. You can select multiple mails, then swipe with another finger from left to right to get to the mailbox view, and there scroll to the folder you would like to move the files into and release the index finger. Boom, you just moved several mails into a folder. And by the way, this drag and drop finger magic also works on the iPad. And there you can use it just the same way as on the iPhone by switching to another full screen app or even with apps open in split view or in slide over. So you can see how powerful this finger magic option is. What it does depends on the app you drag mails into. For instance, Things 3 creates tasks, which include the subject as title and the link in the notes field. Quite handy. Another example, Craft, another great app for taking more complex notes and creating your own PKM or personal knowledge management system, includes these three mails as three blocks with a subject as the title and a backlink. So just try out these power tricks and once you've used them for some time, you will really become a productivity ninja when it comes to mail. Since I've learned these three options, my mail handling has dramatically changed. I now no longer depend on my Mac for real mail handling. Most of my mail organization actually is now done on my iPhone. So that's it for now. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the button below and stay tuned for more great tips to come. Have a great day. See you. Yeah.